Hey guys, it's me Shazad from the new age of android.blogspot.in uh, In today's video, I'll be showing you that uh, how to uh, just review uh, Micromax Funbook in 4.2.2 that is the latest version of Android that has been released by Google and it is said to be a uh, very stable and uh, very great operating system for Androids. So it is the latest version of Android 4.2.2 that has been running on my Micromax Funbook P300. So let's check out first the lock screen. So you have a lock screen of 4.2.2 plus you can add a widget that I added here like my calculator here and uh, I can uh, I have added the I think uh, the calendar here also I can add some other widgets also. So uh, I think I have just locked it. So the lock screen looks pretty good I can add widgets here but I have just installed it that's why I didn't add it that so let's me guys just unlock it so after unlocking the device you can see it's just looking like a Nexus 7 cause my three buttons are there just three buttons here nothing special but I have my notification pull out from the upper side now so in this side I have my quick toggles that has been given by the Google for just quick toggling and quick toggles like my aeroplane Bluetooth on and off and my battery indicators and my user switcher here so in this side I have my pull down notification just showing my gmails and missed calls and messages here so this is just a custom ROM uh, if you want to download it the, I've put the two links in the description first one is called the JB uh, I think 4.2.2 to ROM and the second one will be called as JB minimal uh, gaps so here you can see my uh, menu here so I have my browser calculator and some other apps there is no apps uh, of the Google so you have to just download it from the Play Store so let's check out some pros and cons about this ROM so, the, so there are some problems of this ROM like they it's not perfectly stable for the Macromax phone book is there is a problem in the cyanogen mod the cyanogen mod is not stable with the micromax one book so so i'll be prefer you to just not to install any kind of custom rom but this video is just for showing that how uh, my micromax one book performs in 4.2.2 or any kind of custom roms so i have my pull down notifications here sender i think i've clicked on anything wrong here so if i just swipe by two fingers I think I can get my quick toggles so here you can see let me guys just quickly go into my settings so here you can see there are some new options like uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth and uh, launchers and uh, lock screens extra so in about tablet I have my model number that is the Nexus 7 and the version Android version is the 4.2.2 that is the latest version of Android here so uh, here you can see this is a quick game here so let me just go back from here and I'll be talking about the pros and cons about this ROMs so the problems of this ROM is I'm facing a problem that is my Wi-Fi is not connecting I don't know that any other view users are facing these problems or not but my Wi-Fi is not connecting that's the first problem of this ROM the second problem is the rotation uh, the auto rotate is not working I have just uh, always I've just uh, in the settings I've just checked on always portrait mode that's why it's in the portrait mode now yeah the second problem is that the rotations are not working and the third problem is that it is not a stable it is a very very laggy ROM I have to say that but uh, if you want to check that out I have put the link in the description make sure you have taken the full backup of your ROM using the clockwork mod recovery if you didn't in have installed the clockwork mod recovery in a micromax phone book don't get worried I have also a video there so be sure to check out now uh, to just subscribe my channel there so the ROM is really really laggy so you can see some frame skip rates there so not really really smooth so per but if you want to check out the ROM, you can download it and just flash it, wipe the Dalvi cache, the cache, cache partition and the uh, other and just uh, click on the install zip from SD card and just uh, install the gaps and uh, the ROM here. So 
I don't want to say that install it because flashing the ROMs can make cause your device. So I if just please just do that at your own risk. I have just done it and uh, I've also taken the backup. I'll just prefer you to take a full backup of your Android before doing these kind of things because uh, if you didn't like this ROM, you can just uh, go back to your cust original uh, ROM if you backed it up. If you didn't back it up your custom ROM, you will be in a uh, big problem. So make sure that you have taking the full backup of your ROM before doing these kind of things so the ROM is particularly the 4.2.2 nothing really special there the another problem is that uh, camera is not working there is no application for the camera here and the camera is not working there so the clock and the browsers and no Google apps are installed so you have to just connect to Wi-Fi uh, and uh, just download the app from the market you have to download that from the market but uh, my Wi-Fi is not connecting that's why I didn't have installed any kind of uh, Google apps here so the Wi-Fi is not connecting that's the main problem about this ROM so be sure to check that out guys if you want to just uh, flash it at your own risk you I have put it the two links in the description that you can download and just unzip it uh, by using clockwork mod recovery thanks guys for watching be sure to check my check out my blog that is a new age of android.blogspot.in for these and new kind of videos and please guys subscribe to my youtube channel here is a button there just subscribe to my channel for these kind of another awesome videos thanks guys for watching comment me if you have any problems about this rom and uh, another of other and uh, other of the videos I have just uploaded a video that is a fablet UI in my micro max fun book so be sure to check that out as well and comment me if you have any problems and subscribe to my channel and please like this video thanks guys bye